So here you have an illustration done with Mid Journey AI, and this is my own version of it. What I did, only a paint over, basically blending a few pixels together. I'm gonna to show you every details of it. Now, one major thing that you should be aware when you're painting from AI, if you're doing a paint over like I'm doing right now, is to make sure that you have texture brushes because there's a lot of grain on this image. So for me to be able to actually uh, fix the background and have a little bit of a texture, I needed to have a texture brush. Okay, another thing I'm going to do a lot actually is to uh, blend the pixels. So my illustration came out with a lot of noise, a lot of textures. What I'm doing is I'm using the Mixer Brush tool and I'm simply brushing over it. All the details will stay there, but I'm just gonna smooth that texture to look much better. Almost feels like cheating. And I'm not gonna lie, this feels super rewarding. It feels like I did a lot of work, when in fact, all I did was just to blend some pixels. Now, as I'm adding a little bit more details on the illustration, I really have to realize that I'm actually relying a lot on my own knowledge of the anatomy. If you have a lack of knowledge, you won't be able to add those little accents of value around the eyes, around the nose, around the lips, all of those places where the light bounces. I'm seeing a lot of people in the community kind of freaking out, thinking that AI is just gonna take over tomorrow. I don't think the technology is there yet. As you can see, I, there's a lot of things that if you don't know how to paint them, you won't be able to fix them. Now, it's not to say that you cannot create amazing pieces of art with AI only, but to be able to actually make them better or add stuff or fix lighting, fix anatomy, fix perspective, you still need to know that knowledge. All right, I'm just going to add some detail in the hair right here. And for this, I'm going to use a texture brush. Now, funny enough, when you think about it, uh, years ago when digital painting was actually new, people using brushes like this to help you to add the texture that you needed for certain places like the hair was considering cheating. And I'm really wondering, what's the place that AI is going to take in the future and how it will be perceived? Would it be perceived still as a fraud or a, um, a fake art or um, cheating? Or is it going to be perceived as just another tool that you're using to basically get the results that you want? And I'm actually wondering what you think of it. So let me know in the comment below. Now, here's another great example that the AI won't be able to do everything for you. In this case, I needed to go fetch a uh, photo reference to help me with the anatomy of her chest. There was a lot of bones here with the clavicle uh, and the muscle of the neck, and I wanted to make sure that it makes sense. Because the anatomy that came out of Mid Journey wasn't actually perfect, so I wanted to make sure to just have a reference to help me to push it a little bit more. Now I think at, at this point, I could have just stayed there. I think the portrait was already good looking. I changed a few features. It looked like a slightly better version, definitely, of what came out of Mid Journey. But I want to make sure that I could do something that Mid Journey couldn't do. Okay, so um, I'm actually editing right now. Um, and while I was editing, I took a pause to, uh, to go on YouTube and saw there was a guy playing with this crazy AI. So I was saying that you cannot do AI uh, with lighting, but look at this. I'm actually able to add colors. I can even change the color of that light if I want to. I'm actually adding light to this illustration. Wow. And for this, I added a second light source. I wanted to add a light source at the back, making sure that uh, she has a little bit of a rim light over the hair, over the clothing, to just make sure that she's separated from the background as well. This is where you can really amplify your work and make it better by using your own knowledge of the foundation skills that you already have. Applying this on an illustration created with AI generated like Mid Journey will really give you uh, an edge on what you can do with that tool. This was fun. I'm hoping that I'll be able to actually use AI in my work eventually. I'm not sure the place it has in my process yet. I think I'm gonna have to experiment with it. And I think that's the healthy way to see it. I think it's a tool we need to learn how to use it, see what place it can have in our processes and try to learn to make the best of it really. But in all cases, this is my opinion and I would like to hear yours because right now, this is the hot topic of the moment. Everybody's talking about it. Lots of people are afraid. Some people are very happy about it. It gives them the opportunity to create even more. I'm actually curious to know your opinion. So let's start a conversation in the comments below. I'm looking forward to talk with you in there. For the rest, happy painting guys and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.